Oh, hi there, Interbed fans, and welcome to the podcast for Gravel, 25th of September. We're on the poly track, and uh, when it's rained, you know that the poly track is going to be pretty firm, and we've had plenty of rain overnight. So let's have a look at the card today. Uh, we kick off with a barrier trial, 20 past 12, and then the first race is uh, 10 to 5 to 1. That's a maiden plate over a 1,000 meters, and here... The good thing, just a guy thing, looks like the right horse. He looks like he should be able to win it. And um, I would think that he'd be a bet. He's got pace. He should be able to get to the front. Remember, the draw is going to be critical today. Uh, Avro Lancaster ran a cracking barrier trial. And I thought that he would uh, probably improve over a little more ground, maybe 1,200 meters. But he's got to be the big danger. With the scratching of Jay Fizz, absolute two-horse race. Get involved with the two of them. Race two, Maiden Plate, they go 1,200 meters, and it's another two-horse race. Uh, number 11, I think, is the right horse, Princess Platinum. It's a four-to-one shot. Sean Veal gets to ride it. I thought his barrier trial was cracking. Uh, the form worked out from the barrier trial. American Princess came out and uh, won extremely well. And then I thought Platinum Princess ran pretty well to run on from behind. And I expect uh, Platinum Princess to be the one to beat. But the hot favorite is Hot Money. Second run after a rest. You know what I feel about that. Stuart Randolph gets to ride this one and got to be a danger. Of the rest of them, Cantana Choir. Well, I've always thought that this uh, filly is worth something. And she's certainly worth throwing into all your play as far as uh, race two is concerned. Race three, maiden plate, and there we go, 1,700 meters. Sacred Ibis does look like the business. I think that she's going to be very, very hard to beat. What of the rest of them? Magic Mountain, probably a big improver. This uh, filly's come from Cape Town. She's got to have some form. Disney Princess was with uh, Sean Terry. Lazan Forbes has done a good job uh, getting these horses to improve, and I'd expect Disney Princess to be a runner here. Uh, drawn one with Tristan Godden, and I'd certainly put it into all your play. Let's move on to race four. It's an apprentice handicap, 2,000 meters. And with these apprentice handicaps, I believe the draw is critical and the rider is critical. And the best rider as well, Dennis Schwartz is the best rider around. He's drawn 10. That's not in his favor on Bold Beauty. But there are a number of others. Roy's novice, Jason Gates, gets a ride. Um, he has uh, ridden for the stable. He's probably ridden this horse in work. Drawn 11. She'll like to go to the front, not Roy's novice, and she might be very hard to peg back. Chatty Cathy runs on from behind, but she's drawn 12. That's not in her favor. Crystal Ball always runs on from behind. Drawn 7, she probably get lost in the middle of the race. And Rosa Peru. Uh, Corinne Bestel is in fantastic form, and I expect this one to run extremely well. Outside of Janice's Secret with the 4-kilogram claim and no weight on its back. Race 5,000 meters, Phillies and Mares. They go, uh, it's a 74. And um, Ginger Biscuit won her last start. Be Happy ran in that race. Naomi um, uh, ran and, uh, sorry, they Be Happy ran behind Naomi. And Naomi won well last time. And Yas ran behind Naomi too. There's very little between the three of them. Ginger Biscuit runs on from behind. She might find the track too fast for her. But uh, Be Happy, Naomi and Yas look like the three that are going to fight it out. And that form will probably stand up. I think Be Happy, be the best of them, gets a very good rider and expect it to run well. Race six, Merry Raiders 70, Apprentice Handicap. They go 1,200 meters. Yeah. And Triple Explosion does look like the business. I think Triple Explosion will be very difficult to beat. Luke Ferraris rides it. He's uh, one of the best appies around and expected to run well. Gentleman's Way. Uh, funny enough, I found this in the parade ring last time. It looked extremely well in the parade ring. I had no form to recommend. And uh, unfortunately, the podcasts have been done. But uh, I think second run will catch him. But as old Joker comes from off the pace, that's not going to suit him. Makoka, I think, will run well. And lots of silver might be the find in the race. Uh, should run extremely well. Drawn one with a four kilogram claimer. Race seven, 1,400 meters. They go to Phillies and Mares, Handicap, Merry Race 76. And I make this an absolute three horse race. Cottage looks like the right one. I really like the look of Cottage. Uh, she likes the course. Uh, there's a lot to like about her. She's run one twice over the course and distance. Should run very, very well. Electric Surge. I thought she won a very good maiden plate, this filly. I think that she's better than rated. Donovan Dillon gets to ride her. And then Vars. Uh, Gareth Wright for the Nell Stable. They look to be coming to form the Nell Stable. 
and I'd put them into all your play. Though you should be able to get away with those three. Race eight, future maiden plate, um, 1,400 meters. And Ice Imperial certainly looks like the right one, but never run on the poly. That's going to be a concern. Trip to Freedom's got to be the big danger. I like the look of Trip to Freedom, and I expect it to run extremely well. And I'm going to throw in number one, Saucy Broad. I think that will run well, drawn one. It ran very well three runs ago behind Marsan. And that form has been Frank Marsan's gone out and won another couple since then. And Imperial Seal might be the springer with Mark Khan aboard it. All in all, a pretty difficult card. A couple of horses look like standouts. And it could be very difficult to find a few winners. But let's go and find the, the right horses. And I think that you've got to go in race one. I know it's eight to ten. And that's not my style. But just a guy I think should win, win race one. I do like Avril Lancaster who ran extremely well. And I'd certainly go uh, race two each way, number 11, Platinum Princess. From me, James Goodman, and the whole Interbet crew, have a great day's racing at Greyville.